So it's super fun. Uh, if you've seen the movie, Forky's a character who kind of thinks he's trash, and Woody comes along and he's like, and he's a spork, by the way. And Woody comes along and he's like, you're not trash, you have a greater purpose, you, you um, have, you're meant for more. And his, his world just opens up and he just has a ton of questions. He's always kind of had a ton of questions. And the shorts center on a lot of those questions. You know, what is money? What is a friend? What is love? What is the internet? And all the Dis a lot of the Dis Disney characters come in, Trixie, Mr. Potato Head, Ham, and a lot of, uh, amongst many others. And it's just this really um, beautiful, simple, funny format just to ask these general questions that I myself, as a man in his 40s, who don't know myself. <laughs> You know, so it's really, and I mean, as a voice actor, I'm so grateful to have the gig, but we're a small piece of the pie. The artistry that's done on these shorts and the film is pretty astounding. So just aesthetically, it's really, really beautiful. They asked me probably two and a half years ago if I would want to do it, and of course you're like, yeah. I mean, when Pixar calls, it's just like, you're running. Um, I think they, all the actors have said this, we never really knew the full story, so they would uh, just kind of hand us pages. I never got to read the whole script, so I really just had pieces, and I never knew how Forky's story was gonna go, so it really wasn't until I saw the movie, maybe a month and a half before it came out, that I really kind of saw how Forky's part in the world, and it was pretty exciting, so. And he's just a real, what I love about him is not only is he made simply, he sees the world very simply. You know, he, he doesn't have the preconceived notions that everybody else has. He's, everything's just like, why is, I mean, my favorite is whenever, <laughs> when all the toys are dropping to the ground, when a human walks in, he's like, why are you guys, why are you guys hitting the ground? This is, this makes no sense to me. So I love that simplicity. Typically when you do animation, you're kind of separated from uh, the writer and director. You're kind of in your own little booth. We were in the same room with the director and writer and producer, and so there was this real collaborative process where I'd try something, and they'd be like, all right, maybe we'll try a little lower, go lower, maybe let's try this, let's try this. And then we just kind of, over the course of maybe two hours, just try to find, not two hours, maybe an hour, just to try to find that specific voice. And then I'd try something, they'd hear it back and be like, all right, let's try this. So it was this really cool process, honestly. What's really fun is when my, friends uh, will email me and say, oh, my kid really loved Toy Story, he's a big Forky fan. I always send a message and I say, say his name is, you know, um, Adam or something, I'll go, hey Adam, this is Forky, um, it's really nice to meet you, I'm curious, have you seen a trash can around here? I'm just curious, I can't find it, you know, but I hope to meet you soon. And then, they, and then they've sent a video of them playing it to them and they're just like, what? Forky? So, so that's really fun to do. Yeah.